before I show you the second method of how to tune a guitar by ear, I want to talk about natural harmonics a little bit. I want to show you where to find them on the fretboard and how to play them correctly. The harmonics to a certain fundamental note are always periodic. That means if we listen to the note D and we divide the wavelength of the fundamental note by 2, we get the octave. If we divide the wavelength of the fundamental note by 4, we get the double octave. If we divide the wavelength of the fundamental note by 3, we get the just, which means the physically correct fifth to that note. If we divide the wavelength of the fundamental note by 6, we get the just, which means the physically correct fifth, which is an octave above the other fifth to the fundamental note. If we divide the wavelength of the fundamental note by 5, we get the just, which is the physically correct major third to that fundamental note. Please remember, the physically correct major third is not exactly the same note as if we would fret the string on the fourth fret and produce the major third by doing it that way. If we divide the wavelength of the fundamental note by 7, we will receive the wavelength of the just, which means physically correct, minor 7th. Now, if we remember from our first tutorial, the minor 7th is already so far off that it sounds absolutely out of tune if we would use this kind of natural overtone or natural harmonic in a song. <laughs> Theoretically, we could produce many more natural harmonics on an open string on a guitar. Practically, this is very, very hard to achieve. So, in reality, the overtones we use in music or for tuning are generally only the perfect fifths and the octaves. The major third can be used in music, but we need to be aware that it is a little bit out of tune. The correct way to produce a natural harmonic on an open string is to touch the string at a very certain point, lightly but firmly, with your fretting finger. Do not press it down, just touch it. The exact location for the natural harmonics for octaves are relatively easy to find. You find the octave exactly over the 12th fret. You can find the double octave over the 5th or where the 24th fret would be. You'll find the triple octave slightly higher than the 8th fret, which means it's about probably a 32nd of an inch higher than the 8th fret or about 3 16th of an inch higher than the 2nd fret. The location of the natural harmonics, which are an octave and a fifth above the fundamental note of the string, are easily located exactly over the 7th and the 19th fret. The location of the natural harmonic, which is an octave above the other fifth, is to be found a little bit more than a quarter of an inch higher, which means more towards the bridge above the third fret. The location of the just major thirds are slightly below the fourth fret or slightly below the ninth fret. The location of the just minor 7th are about 3 eighths below the 3rd fret, about a quarter of an inch below the 7th fret and a little bit below the 10th fret.
If you're planning to use harmonics in a song, generally the harmonics at the 12th, 5th, 7th, 19th and 24th fret are very easy to produce with a clean sound as well as with a distorted sound. The other harmonics might get a little bit tougher in a musical situation. Generally, a good, well distorted sound or a very harmonic distortion on a tube amp always helps to bring out harmonics on a guitar. When you tune a guitar with natural harmonics and the two strings are slightly out of tune, you will hear some sort of a wave. It sounds like wow, 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 wow. This kind of wave gets slower the closer the two notes are. So what you will hear is something like wow, 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 wow. In that moment, the two strings are in tune. There are a couple of guidelines which help us to tune a guitar with natural harmonics. One of them is we should always use a pick. The second one is we should always try to tune the string which is out of tune up. Which means if the string is slightly sharp, which means it is too high, we should first tune it down a little bit and then gradually tune it up until it is in tune. That guarantees that the string is going to stay in tune much better. If I take the A string and I play a natural harmonic over the 7th fret, I receive an E, because this is the 5th to the A string. The E from the E string and the E from the A string should sound the same. We do the same thing with the A string and the D string. We play the natural harmonic on the A string right over the 5th fret and we play the natural harmonic on the D string right over the 7th fret, which is the 5th to the D and this is an A. So an A and an A should sound the same. We continue the same way. We play the natural harmonic over the 5th fret of the D string and the natural harmonic over the 7th fret on the G string. When we want to tune the B string, we go back to the low E string and we play the natural harmonic over the 7th fret on the E string. This is the fifth, which is a B natural, and our B string is a B natural too. So we compare with the open string, with the open B string. We can now either tune the high E string with the natural harmonic over the 5th fret on the B string and the natural harmonic over the 7th fret on the high E string or we can use our A string and play the natural harmonic over the 7th fret which is an E and play the open E string. <laughs> 